Yo, what's going on guys? DJ Hess here, CollectiveKicks.com. I wanted to bring you guys a video and show you guys my top 15 pairs of sneakers to rock during summer 2015. Really excited to show you guys this video, and if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It took a lot of effort to coordinate uh, this video, but really I'm curious to see what your guys' top choices are for summer 2015. Maybe leave a comment, let me know your top three or top five pairs of sneakers that you plan on rocking. Uh, this is mine. I couldn't narrow it down to five or ten, so I went with 15. And hopefully, again, you guys like this video. Uh, one other thing to keep in mind is I went very runner heavy because it is summertime and I do like that low top feel. I do like the option of wearing socks or no socks depending on the day uh, and where I'm going and what I'm doing and the type of shoes I'm rocking. So uh, keep that in mind. And then uh, basically, this is just my my top 15 or whatever again. Uh, and I'm again, I'm really curious to see what yours are. I might have missed some really critical pairs of sneakers. And if I did, weigh in in the comment section. But let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so first up, I have a couple honorable mentions, and that is the Nike Free Sock Fly that you can see on the screen right here, and also the Jordan Eclipse. There are two pairs of sneakers that I don't currently have in my collection that I wanted to call out specifically because they're ones that look like they're really nice and um, very summer ready. So just wanted to point those two out. Uh, I'll put links in the description for all of these sneakers if you guys are interested in any of them. Um, so let's go ahead and move on to uh, the first ones in the collection. So number 15, I went with the KD7. It's a great model. It's uh, kind of a lower cut already. A little bit of posit material, so it's a little bit heavy, uh, but uh, but still a nice model and one that you can rock during summer with the straps open. Uh, so number 15. All right, so next up we went with the Kyrie 1. It is a mid-top, but it is a nice uh, model. As you can see, I made two Nike IDs, the Mega Man inspired one and then the Air Mag inspired one. Uh, this one is definitely a summer looking sneaker in my opinion. And I like to wear them really, really loose like the laces like that. I did a lacing video for that um, earlier if you guys missed that uh, in the year. But uh, let's go ahead and move on to number 13. Number 13 would be the LeBron 12 Low Tops. And this is the LeBron Old Palmer colorway. It's very summer oriented as you can tell. But it is very heavy as well. So that's why it's lower on the countdown. Really nice sneaker but definitely one that get, gets warm especially with how bulky it is. Uh, but the colorway, I gotta love this colorway with the lemon and sole. So number 12 on the countdown is the Kobe uh, 10 basketball shoe. And uh, I know that all Nike basketballs starting off the countdown, but they needed a place because they're definitely rockable sneakers casually. Kobe's are probably the most comfortable out of the bunch that I showed you. This is a Kobe 10 in my Thundercat Nike ID colorway. Number 11 on the countdown is the Asics Gel Light 3s or the 5s. Both very comfortable models, but I prefer the Gel Light 5s if I was going to choose one, uh, just because the midsole is a lot more... Uh, comfortable and it feels like it absorbs more uh, per every footstep. Also, I like the uh, the the tongue a little bit better than the split tongue on the Gel Light Threes, and I like how this in, is like a neoprene sock. Uh, so no socks uh, for those ones, and that is number eleven. All right, so number ten on the list is the Adidas Zeno Technology ZX Flux, as you can see with that crazy reflective look to it uh, right here. Uh, the reason why this is lower on the countdown is because of the comfort level to me the ZX Flex is not a very comfortable model as I've said in the past But I love the reflective look and I do have the flash on so you can see it reflect uh, number 10 on the countdown All right, so number nine on the countdown is the Nike Roshi run one of the most comfortable pairs of sneakers You can buy for the price very dope model and uh, only about 75 90 dollars You can find them on sale for like 60 dollars and places definitely need to have at least one pair of Roshi runs in your collection in my opinion uh, number nine Number eight on the countdown is a pair of Harachi Runs. These things are extremely comfortable, way more comfortable than I actually knew. Shout out to Champ Sports again for this pair uh, because uh, I actually didn't have a pair of Harachi Runs in my collection uh, before this. And once I put them on, I was like, man, they definitely are very comfortable. They do run a little bit snug, so I'd go half a size up. But uh, really, really uh, comfortable shoe, really comfortable midsole. Definitely uh, worthy of a top 10 spot. Number eight on the countdown. Number seven on the countdown would basically be any Saucony Originals sneaker. My preference would be the G9s, the Grid 9000s, or a pair of Shadows. I really think that any of those models look really dope. Um, the Jazz are a really nice model as well, but my favorite out of the group would have to be uh, the G9s. I think that these ones are super sick, and you can see that they have really crazy vibrant colors, as you can see with the Barneys. Um, some of these have been gifted from Saucony. Shout out to Saucony. Um, these three over here I bought, as well as many of the other ones, so... It's not like I get all of them gifted, but I really do like the models, and it's perfect summer shoe. All right, so what would summer be without a pair of Air Max 90s? This is number six on the list, the Air Max 90. This is the infrared colorway that I have uh, from the last retro, but basically this 
uh, shoe is definitely a summer staple. Um, love the vibrant colors and the hits to it. And it's a very, just a really classic, iconic pair of sneakers. Uh, you can never go wrong with a pair. A number six on the countdown. So starting out the top five, we have the Nike Flyknit Max and or the uh, Air Max 2015. They're basically the same pair of sneakers. The only thing is the Flyknit Max obviously has a Flyknit upper, which in my opinion is better. Um, I love this Flyknit upper. I wore these in Hawaii and the sand didn't have any problems through the Flyknit. It's just a really nice material. Great pair of shoes that you can wear without any socks. And um, the air bubble is just ginormous and they're super duper comfortable and cushy. Uh, I lace mine with a double lace on the top, as you can tell, and they're really, really comfortable like this. Um, but that is definitely uh, a worthy spot on the top five, my number five uh, spot, the Flyknit Max. So number four spot goes to the Air Jordan 11 low top model. Uh, it is a model that is actually really nice for summertime because of the low top cut. And this is the uh, Concord colorway. Obviously, uh, there is the bread colorway coming out this summer as well. Uh, definitely a very comfortable pair of sneakers and a great model. Uh, to Rocks and Jordans in the summertime. Uh, number four on the countdown, the AJ11 Low. So number three on the countdown is the Air Jordan 3, uh, basically one of the most iconic pairs of Jordans of all time. And this is the uh, the cement colorway, the 88s as they're known with the Nike Air on the back. But this color, or this, this model I mean, is just really, really dope. It's very iconic and it's like the perfect summer shoe because of the low cut. Uh, of the shoe i think it just it just screams summertime at least to myself that's why this one made the top 15 and some of the other jordan retros did not so number two on the countdown is the ultra boost uh from adidas and this this model is extremely comfortable it is a little snug around the the collar so if you like it uh looser then go half size up but um but they're just super comfortable and this prime knit will give the fly knit a run for its money it is really really comfortable it's really um soft it's softer than the fly and it is uh, very very breathable and then you have that awesome breathable upper uh, with the snug fit and then you have this crazy boost technology that's so incredibly comfortable it's worth every penny they do retail at 180 you could probably find them cheaper on ebay but um man it's definitely worthy of trying on if you haven't tried these on yet try them on they're even more comfortable after the first week of wear in my opinion uh, but definitely a worthy spot in the top three. Number two, the Ultra Boost. All right, guys, so the number one spot, no surprise to those that follow me, is the Pure Boost or the Pure Boost 2. And the reason why is because this shoe is insanely comfortable. Um, I have probably a dozen pairs between the two or three models uh, of this shoe. It's just crazy, crazy comfortable. And you can see the boost material is maximum on this thing. It's just so big and cushy. But what you guys don't see from the videos is just how much this absorbs your foot when you actually wear them and uh and it's definitely worth trying on at Foot Locker or something like that if you haven't actually tried them on yet once you try them on i think uh it's really much pretty much a game changer for people it was for myself and uh this model in particular out of all the boost technologies this is the one that like is the most comfortable so this is just my personal opinion but i would go personally with a pure boost 2 or the uh, Pure Boost Chill, which is pretty much the same thing as the two, except for it has the chill material. Lightweight, definitely lighter weight for summer, so this one might be the, actually the winner uh, of the group. Then followed by the Pure Boost 1, because the Pure Boost 1, um, I don't really like the tough edges around the collar, as, as I've mentioned many times uh, right here. It's a little bit, um, I don't know, it sticks to your ankle a little bit. This pair alleviates that problem, though, and I wear these uh, on the regular. I have every colorway of those that have been released almost. Just one of my favorite pairs of sneakers and definitely worthy of the number one spot, in my opinion. Um, and I know Adidas kind of dominated the first two, but if you guys haven't tried the Boost, again, it's worth trying out. I'm telling you guys, uh, it's the most comfortable uh, pair of sneakers that you can own, at least in my opinion. And it's definitely the most bang for the buck. At $120 retail for those, you can probably, again, find them cheaper on eBay. And uh, I'll link some in the description for any of these sneakers that you saw out here today. But hopefully you guys like this video. If you guys did, please uh, give it a thumbs up. And again, leave it a comment in the comment sections. Let me know what your top picks are. Really curious to see what I missed out on. I'm sure there was some really obvious ones, but I was trying to knock out this video the best I could. And um, basically you can see the aftermath of the video. So again, thumbs up is always appreciated. Thank you again for watching, guys. We'll catch you guys for some more videos soon. Peace, guys.